Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Session Drummer software in Logic Pro X. How good is it? What can you use it for? And how best to use it? So, I have a track here which is just a rough demo. It's got some bass, some piano, some guitar. We're going to add this Session Drummer to the track and we're going to manipulate it a little bit just so we've got a little bit of uh, a variety going on in the drums especially from the this little verse here to the chorus so got a session drummer up here we'll just see what it looks like when you implement it so we've got a drummer here you get to choose what genre you want the drums this is just going to be a rough demo and just at this stage it's just putting ideas down so i'm not going to go for anything like you know r&b electronic or something. i'm just going to go for a songwriter it's nice because it's very stripped back and it's basic uh, so here we go now, when you open up Drummer, you do get a um, little bit of um, a drum beat put in, in a track. Uh, and it's quite a few bars long, actually. Uh, let's see what that sounds like. I've dragged it into the verse where I'm going to start the drums. And that's that. So, what's really interesting here now is we'll start left and we'll work our way right because right here is where we have all our uh, configurations, things we can change up and it's basically the, dr it's the drum machine. So if that doesn't appear for whatever reason, just have to click this little scissors icon here and it'll bring up the drummer uh, machine. So we've got hotel, cafe, we've got all sorts of um, beat presets here. Now, let's see what they sound like. So if I change the clockwise, you get a different beat. You get a different drum beat as well. So this is where you can really uh, mess around with the textures and the sounds. To get the drum sound that sounds right for you, uh, see, so try heart to heart. All right, let's, let, let's just go with heart to heart. So now we get to the next section here, and this is the, uh, the pad area here. And as you can see, there's four different parts of it. There is simple to complex, and there's soft to loud. Now, this is what really um, can change up the drums a lot, and you can change the velocity of different how different things getting hit. You can, again, the complexity, so what sort of drum beats getting played, where the feels, like how intense and prominent are the feels. So let's start with simple and soft, see what that sounds like. In the middle, as you can see it's changed. And then loud and complex, this would be something probably quite hard hitting for chorus. Cool. So now this is the verse, so I'm going to have it somewhere on the simple and soft side of things because we want it, we want there to be quite a difference from the verse to the chorus. We want it to be a step up, a progression in the song. So we're going to go for that. And I'm also going to go for hi hats. This is the next section here, so you can actually choose what part of the drum kits you want to be audible or the drummer to play. So I'm going to go for hi hat and uh, the snare and kick. And we can take this a step further because we can actually choose what sort of uh, well we can basically play what what's the hi hat going to be playing and what the kick and snare what beat are they going to be playing so let's start with the kick and snare get a kick and snare beat that we're happy with I quite like that, maybe because I've been hearing it the whole time. Next, we're going to choose the hi hat. I'm going to go. Straight. Now, at the moment, there's a little bit of swing which you can hear in the. Duh, 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 duh. If we were to turn that swing all the way down, it goes from. Um, and obviously the, the more swing you put in it, the more it's gonna like, again, have that swing. 
Um, sorry, I couldn't think of another word other than swing to describe it, but I'm sure you get the idea. And then the next section here is the fills. Like, um, when you have a, a software track this long, typically, at, at least at halfway, there's always going to be a fill. So let's see. It's quite tame. That's not a lot. But if you really want to amplify them fills, get them sort of rounds on the toms when you're like halfway through a section to probably stamp a section of the... Uh, so turn the fills right up. You can see that was a lot more uh, going on there. Uh, so I'm going to have it sort of halfway because, again, this is a verse. We want it to be quite calm. And then the last thing here is the percussion section. So you can actually add either a tambourine, a shaker, or a clap. Uh, I'm going to add a shaker, which you can hit. Last thing we can do, we can just double it. But if you want to have more fills going on more often, what you can do is you can actually put this in half, and the drums will then change again to make sure it's a nice end to the section. And then if you just loop that again, you'll get more of an intense fill. So I'm happy with that. So now we're going to go on to the chorus. And what we can do, we can just literally just drag what we've done here, so then we can build on it. So it's a similar drum beat, but we're going to have more to it. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make it louder. I'm going to make it more complex. Let's see what that sounds like. I'm also going to change the hi-hat to cymbals. I'm going to change the shaker to a tambourine. And one last trick I could show you to do is, again, you could duplicate again. Maybe you don't want to have the same fill happening four times over. So what then you could do, if you want to like add more progression to a chorus using these drums, separate them again. And again, because we've just got this section selected here, it's going to be here. As you can see, like, when we've got different selection, it automatically changes to them presets. So we've got the same thing happening here twice. But again, I'm going to amp up the fills a little bit more, and I'm going to turn the loudness up just a little bit more. So then this last part of the chorus is the most intense part so then we've added progression throughout the whole song using the session drummer and to be honest you could even just have it as the last one but then you can play around it this, this is what's so good about this session drummer you can you can do so much of it. And the thing is, that didn't take a lot of time at all. Um, and especially if you're doing a demo, you can just copy and paste. Um, but in a nutshell, this is the Session Drummer. And I think it's great. Uh, it's really live sounding drums. One last thing I think I'll add to it. If you ever want to, from a mixing point of view, I always find they lack a little bit in the low end and also the top end of the brightness symbols. So again, this is about... <laughs> Right, around there, between 1 and 100 and 200 hertz, you're going to get that kick really punching through in a mix. So I always like to do that. And also, I like to add a bit of brightness to the cymbals because I feel like they could like breathe just a little bit more. So I always tend to do a little uh, high, um, high boost uh, just there in the form of a shelf. So yeah, guys, uh, I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any more questions regarding the session drama, feel free to comment below. Uh, subscribe to my channel to see more content like this because I'm going to be posting uh, regular content about Logic. So please, in the, again, in the comments below, um, message me or recommend or suggest any videos that you'd like me to um, do, anything you'd like me to cover within Logic or just within music producing, mixing and mastering in general. And I am happy to do that because I'm always looking for new content to best help you guys get the best um, out of your music producing ability. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.